Welcome to Clemson Next, the strategic plan created by the city of Clemson to guide future growth and development. On this website, you will find a white paper with all nine recommendations that will have a profound impact on the city of Clemson moving forward. But we thought we'd take a minute to summarize those for you. And for those of you who want more information, more details, visit the website. What you'll find on there is our answers to who participated in this plan and lots of information on how we arrived at the conclusions and the strategies that we did. So just click on the learn more button and you'll find lots of materials to get you up to speed. Now, before we go into these nine recommendations, a few things to keep in mind. First, we heard from a lot of people. The first survey had a thousand unique responses alone. Second, there are no silver bullets. Why are there nine strategies? Because one isn't enough. When confronted with big problems, the most common mistake is to look for one simple solution. This almost never works and can even backfire. Third, holistic is the way to go. What is the opposite of a silver bullet approach? A holistic one. The traffic, housing, and economic issues related to development are complex and interconnected. So too are the recommended strategies for this effort. Now that we've shared that, let's get into the nine recommendations. Number one, invest in transit to mitigate traffic increases resulting from growth. These investments are also needed to reduce auto dependence, especially for students living off campus. Number two, expand bike and pedestrian infrastructure to reduce dependence on cars and mitigate traffic increases. This infrastructure is also needed to make sure that new development is walkable. Number three, enhance the small business ecosystem to create a more diverse local economic base. This stronger ecosystem can also address the emergence of storefront vacancy downtown. Number four, support the creation of affordable housing so that Clemson's essential workforce can reside in the city. In addition to promoting income diversity, this increases the labor pool for small businesses and mitigates traffic. Number five, invest in neighborhood preservation and enhancement in key areas to minimize displacement of people of color and low moderate income households and equitably enhance quality of life. Number six, facilitate a balance of housing in the right areas so that Clemson can have student housing that isn't contributing excessive traffic and non-student housing that supports diversity of full-time Clemson residents. Number seven, create overlays that encourage quality, walkable, mixed-use, and transit-supporting density in place of underutilized, auto-dominated commercial strip development. Number eight, develop catalyst areas through partnerships with high-quality developers to create unique and vibrant places that enhance Clemson's best assets while addressing critical community challenges in areas with exceptional potential. Number nine, expand capacity and foster collaboration between the city, university, and surrounding communities. New city leadership positions will need to be created in economic community and small business development. So there you have it, nine recommendations. And we'd certainly encourage you to look at these in more detail uh, on the website and in the white paper. This strategic plan and the recommendations found herein are aimed at making Clemson more inclusive, more resilient, and possessing of a higher quality of life. This marks the end of the strategic planning process, but really it's just the beginning. It's the beginning of implementation, and it's gonna take everyone working together. We've found that communities that take these plans and roll up their sleeves and work together are the ones that move forward, are the ones that succeed. And we know you're up to the task, Clemson. We just can't wait to see what it is that you all accomplish.